look what I got. And it was a display copy, so I got a lot of discount on it, so that was really nice. And so I bought it. The actual topic of this video is this book, Reugvleis by Joshua Four. The English title is Moonwalking with Einstein, the Art and Science of Remembering Everything. By the way, please do not confuse this with Jonathan Four, which is the author of Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. They're brothers and these books are both awesome, so you should read both of them. But let's focus on this one for now. Basically, the book talks about Joshua Four. He visited a memory championship in the US for his work as a journalist and he got kind of intrigued by it. And then some people tell him that he would actually be able to do the same thing with his memory. So he trains for it and then goes on to becoming the US champion. So basically the book is learning us that having an extremely good memory is not something for the lucky few. We could all learn how to memorize thousands of numbers, hundreds of random words, and so on and so forth. However, the book also explains how that would work. Apparently the basic technique that many of these so-called memory athletes use is called the memory palace, which is also the Dutch title of the book. This technique was discovered centuries ago by a guy in Greece named Saminides, and he, he was at the banquet and he was called outside and while he was outside the whole building crumbled and everybody else at the party died. Um, he was then asked who was there and where they would possibly find their remains and in his mind he reconstructed the whole table and where everybody was sitting and he sort of discovered slash realized that human memory works very well with spatial links. This technique basically means that you create some sort of very memorable strange image uh, in your mind for every part that you want to remember and you then place that in a space in a space that you know very well. For example the house you live in or grew up in, you can imagine certain images for every word or every number at different places in your house. After you've done that and you would take a walk through your house, you would then find all the memories exactly where you placed them. Sounds simple and it works. However, aside from just describing this sort of personal adventure, the book actually talks a lot about memory in general. For example, how important is memory? Because back in the days before even scripture was invented, memory was extremely important because it was the only way information could exist basically and pass to other people. So every time you would somebody would tell you something, you were basically forced to remember it or it would be lost forever. But then a script was invented, books were made, books were copied more often, indexes arised, printing was invented, and then we had Google. For all I know, in 10 years we can have Google implanted in our brains or our eyes and all the information of the world would just be one thought away. Now the question is, is this a good or a bad thing? Because, as is also mentioned in the book, Ever since Socrates lived, there were already worries that by externalizing all our memories, so by not keeping it in our heads, but on paper or computer chips, um, we as human beings would become sort of less. We would become like an empty vessel. This development made a lot more knowledge available for everybody, but it also kind of reduced the necessity of your memory. Ultimately, this leads to a question, is, me is your memory important? Um, the case that's actually made in the book and that I really liked is that, yes, memory matters. Your memory is not some sort of search engine where you can just get facts from whenever you need them. Our memories change the way that we perceive the world and the more memories we have, the richer our experience will be. Something that I definitely recognize myself in is, for example, if you visit a town and you don't know anything about it, it's just a bunch of rocks. It can look pretty, but that's about it. However, if you know something about the history or the culture in that place, everything becomes so excited. New memories need to be connected with old memories to make them stick in your brain. So this actually creates the situation if that the more you know, the more you'll be able to learn about a certain subject. And I think that that would be good. So I think, you know, knowing basic facts about history or about what's going on in the world can actually really help make your life feel better and more exciting. So yes, I think memorizing certain things probably good. One of the um, memory athletes that actually sort of coached Joshua for throughout this process also made a tech talk. His name is Ed Cook. Link it will be right here. I would just really like to know of you whether you think memory is important and I would also really like to recommend this book Moonwalking with Einstein, The Art and Signs of Remembering Everything by Joshua Four. Bye!